Hello, I'm the Sacred Dragon, and hey, I'm upgrading to the most recent Dark Ages version, R3 for 4024. Um, yeah, sorry about missing most of last week. Uh, family was visiting, and now that happens. Uh, yeah, it gives uh, seed triggers to everyone. Kind of useful. Uh, Legendary Dwarves now have a Mage Cast. Legendary Dwarves slightly nerfed. Chasm Abolith no longer appear in rivers. Fix Chasm Abolith, Abolith, whatever. Graphics. Where beasts appear in slightly more restricted biomes. Crete, whatever. Pre generated advanced world parameter. And a new, really old world in pocket. Uh, most, most, of my, most of these I don't think will affect anything. Uh, oh, here we go. A fire and ice world to be further surveyed and documented. Hmm. But yeah, Siege Boost mostly refers to the fact that now we have triggers like goblins. So, um, there's a quick fix for some ASCII problems. So that's a thing. Okay. Back into the world, continuing where we left off last time. Though, I have probably less of a clue than you do. Uh, I probably should have went back and rewatched what was happening, but I'm sure I'll pick it up relatively quickly. Um, stuff's happening. Cool. Right, this world. Uh, we're currently trying to fill in this place over here. It's, uh, sort of working. We're getting there. And merchants have embarked. Uh, and yes, we did trade for stuff. Okay, cool. And those are going to be deconstructed, and we do have that working. Awesome. Yes, uh... I think I remember what's going on now, which is a good thing. I can't remember if we've managed to reach the stuff. The gooey red thing in the bottom. Uh, wait, is this tiles? No, those aren't tiles. Okay. Going down. Yeah, that fixed up. I'll have to mind that. Nope. Okay, we're stopped here. Good to know. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can head back up to the top now. Okay, so that's where the zoom points are. Right now, what is everyone doing? Filling pond, mostly. Also, we've got these critters over here. Hmm. Right, I need to expand the area because I need, or not expand, um, words. I need to move the animals to a new place. And thinking about how to manage that. Let's see, floor. expand this a bit more there we go uh, though apparently there's it's not actually that busy they're just sleeping on it so I guess that's a thing um, let's see do we have people digging uh, technically yes working on it anyway and that's slightly less important than this over here Apparently we ran out of creatures to milk. Such a shame. Let me uh, designate this to dig out. There we go. I'll probably end up uh, digging downward stairs somewhere in there. I'll just have to keep in mind what's happening underneath. <sighs> but it's just another thing to worry about. Hmm. Speaking of digging, I really should consider the animals. What kind of animals we got? We got mole wheels, weasels, boulder crabs, boars, so that's three, four, five, six. Oh, the hatchling. Six types of things. Can we get the hatchling announcement? Not particular. Okay. But it is a thing, it did happen. So 
probably don't have the uh, cord uh, pit shift P duh. there we go I'll remove a couple from there that way we keep working our way along. How far are we coming? Pretty decently. You are set up for mining. Do you have a pick? You do have a pick. So go do your job. Or, you know, put someone in a thing. I guess that happens. Yeah, I guess I do have a lot of uh, spaces for that. Hmm. Should I reduce it? Yeah, I'll reduce it to only six spaces. We don't really need the uh, early area worked on anyway. Hopefully. Supposed to be nice if they actually got around to doing this stuff. <sighs> so, yeah, so, yeah. Neither here nor there. Whatever happens, happens. Someone's actually working on that. It's good. I didn't want too easy for someone to get up there. There we go. Hmm. I wonder how I have a hatchling. Because I didn't bring a hatchling with me. Do we not have a hatchling? I thought I saw a ha Yeah. Hmm. Must have came in a migration wave. At least that's all I can think of. Are they not actually in here? Hmm. Interesting. Well, I should probably make a... No, not a casket. A cage for them anyway. And plus, there are things that I can cage, so that's nice. Mm, yeah. Yeah, CT, disable, enable, forbid, 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 plant, d -d 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 leather, silk, yarn, Type, box, bags, core quality, not artifact. There we go. I don't really know how to do the area for them. Let's put it to six. Yeah, can't stand it. Gonna remove it. There we go. Also, hmm. hmm. Can't quite manage that. I could have just an area here like this. That's twenty-one across. In how many animals did I say I have? Six types. 21 doesn't really divide by 6, I don't think, but it divides by 3 in that 7 spots. Not the worst setup. It'll allow for uh, a small row. Alright, this is going to be 5. Oh, and it matches up with over here, so you know. It's always a thing to consider. Um, there we go. And we'll need a couple more doors. Of 
course, since this is all set to four, it'll be done down here first. Then it'll do the stuff here, and then it'll do the stuff there, which is mostly just make work. So... I definitely think this would be easier if we had a uh, different setup. Oh. I'll let that build out. I'm not going to bother with the most of them. I'll just uh, set up the things at the end of it instead of right front. Because it'll fill in some more for itself, hopefully. Really, I have... Hmm. I didn't really consider the fact that I'd have bags so quickly. Uh... Hmm. What's that? That's an elk. Just an elk. A lot of elk, actually. Huh. Too bad I don't have any hunters. I don't have any hunters, right? Yeah, I don't have any hunters. Good. Having hunters wouldn't be the end of the world, it'd just be annoying, because I don't want them. What are you? I think you're just a... yeah, you're just a cave spider. Which, in and of themselves, could actually be annoying also, but... Well, life goes on. Definitely don't need them here. And the river shouldn't be affected by my taking water from there. Hopefully. That's, that's my assumption. Tree animal, no creature. Okay. And then we're just stuck with a bunch of thread stuff. Yep. Ooh, fancy. I guess the question here is, was I going to do anything with it besides make dyes? There's quarry bush, which would be a thing, but not really. So we'll just set it up to be milled. Um, we're actually very... You know what? I just realized another use for this uh, priority thing. When I'm on this and I'm viewing the priority, it tells me everywhere that's currently being dug. Because sometimes you can't really tell that depending on the soil, what not. Not always the easiest thing, I must admit. So that's nice. What's this? I think it's plat. No, Galana. That's better. Well, not better. It just has actual uses to it, I think, beyond just being a shiny metal. Okay, I just saw something over there. Don't know what that... Oops. That's a giant... Great giant cave spider. I don't like the addition of that great. He's very fat and enormous overall. His chitin is brown, his eyes are black. And that's a weird graphic board. It might actually... I can't tell. I can't... I'm far enough away from the screen so that if it something else or something or other I, I'm not able to tell that there we go ah good the uh thing's finished there and how's this coming along yeah that's actually vaguely annoying oh well uh, is this properly... Okay, I don't have it to take from there, but it will. It will now. I, X... There we go. I'll work over there. Hmm. How 
far along. Uh, they're almost done. I'll let them finish digging here so I can actually get the stuff up there. In the next area, dug out of an albedo cage, which is what I want to do. Well, build the cage I made, I guess, would be the more proper way of putting it. Because I made the cage, I'm just waiting on setting it down. Though, I do have doors as well to make, or to lay down. We'll put the cage there for right now. We might move it later, but it's a decent enough place, and it's right near the butchering area. So we'll let it stand as is. Yes, this is working over here. I planned it to, so that's fine. Going to not that. I'm not sure if it needs to be that close, but it seems that it works out relatively well having about a two area to fill. around it. Uh, but that would interfere with the current setup, so we'll leave that alone for now and let those get built. And someone needs to take care of that, but that's a thing for the future. Almost out of bags. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I disallowed it from here, which is what I want. I don't want it here, but I... Nope, 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 nope. I did not disallow dies. So we probably already have it over there. No, okay. It looks like they were too busy to do that. Hmm. I guess the real question is, how to... I want the bags back. Hmm. Do I have a dump zone? I don't think I have a dump zone, so I'm going to put one there. DBD. Yep, yep. Cancel mill plant, need an empty bag. Uh, this is taking from the millstone, right? Yep, okay, cool. Um, no one seems to be taking... Dig R... No, O R... I don't know if that was what was wrong, but that's what we just did. So that's a thing. We'll see if they manage that. Oop, and the cage thing is in, so we can go and uh, throw all the kids in it. A hatchling, piglets, oh, and uh, the pups. There we go. That's everything we need, right? Yep, looks like it. Hmm. You'd think someone would be dumping stuff, but apparently not. Hopefully those, uh, okay, good. I was a little worried that maybe the elk would be a little aggro, but no, no, they're just running away. There we 
There we go. And then I'll set the other stuff over there for it later. But they keep doing what I want them to do. Which is vaguely important to me. Yeah, we'll leave that as is. Just a lot of work for them. Can't be helped. So that finished. Only bone bolts are left. Presumably from stuff over here. Yeah, I can't remember. I think the ivory might count as... Yep. It counts as bone. Good. What I wanted. And yeah, we have this one brewing plant, so the, lots of the stuff will be used up. Just what I wanted. There we go. Yes, you can get up at the moment, but that will change soon. Not that they won't be able to get up, it just will be more of a hassle for them. But, you know, life. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I was correct in my uh, numbering. Let's see, that's so far one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we have a space for egg layers. Yes, I was correct. Except two of them are egg layers, and that changes things up a little bit, because I don't want to have just an area for egg layers. So this is going to be the pet zone. Well, this is going to be the pet zone. Meaning, do we have any pets at the moment? Yeah, we have a billy goat. You can go over there. Yeah. And then... Mo weasels. I don't remember what they do, but... They can go here, barring the one that I'm letting run around. The boulder crab are going to go over here. So next up is the boars, and they can definitely go there. Uh, shaggy badger dog. Um, I'm going to put the shaggy badger dog down here. Just because they're going to eventually be basically the war animals. After that is Leatherwing Bats. I feel like I'm missing something. Ah, I missed this one. Uh, yeah, no, you get to be the Leatherwing Bats. And here and here are going to be the... Let's see, we only have uh, two females of each at the moment. So we'll only uh, mess around a little bit, but obviously we currently can only move one, so the boulder crab male can come over here. And the Horned Cave Turtle. Hmm. Tempted to actually put that in there, but I'm not going to. And right. Nope. Nope. And now... <laughs> They're all trying to escape. Let's not have that happen. <laughs> Oh, 
it still hasn't reached that one corner else I'd probably be tempted to take that off come on do what I want it's like I can obviously just build a floor right over to it and have it directly do its thing but eh, I don't feel like it oh and there's a great giant cave spider here as well with that, that means that we should probably uh, start digging down again. I don't want to do it. I could just uh, do it over here. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. And so one, two, three, four, five. There we go. We'll see what that does. We've got a lot of random animals that. I want to be elsewhere. <sighs> we'll leave the uh, zones over there alone for now. Oh, that tread, right? Um. Oh, right, yeah, because it is digging them out, it will discover stuff. I was a little worried because. One of the cases where you do get a lot of stuff is uh, when you strike one of those uh, cave areas a bit. As was... somewhat worried. It was it was a worry. I think at this point we can actually uh, make those pet passable again. It did its job. Also, no one's done that yet. I'm not sure why. Because it does seem to be here as a job. I'm guessing maybe just the fill pond thing is a little more, uh... So that's one boulder crab hatch. Looks like uh, multiple boulder crab. Are you sure that's only one? It's kind of hard to tell. Eh. One of these is new eggs. Oh, both of them are new eggs. Never mind. Yeah, it's. Settings. Uh. permit. There we go. And now that that's in, um, the boulder crab are those, so... We'll let them deconstruct that. Build N. Build N. There we go. Lots of moving animals around at the moment. Okay, why aren't you on your nest? That, that's odd. I didn't remove that. Yeah, that's, that's kind of weird. And 
boulder crab there, and boulder crab there. And that should take care of that. There we go. Kind of waiting for the, uh, what's that? Uh, snail. Interesting. You know, if I was to, if they have an egg, the first thing that's going to happen is the uh, people are going to rush over and be like, time to put these away. I don't want that. That's not what I want. Also, it looks like things might be a little slow filling wise. Why? I don't know. We have a lot of people on break. So I will throw another pond there. And is this where I make the nest? No, no. It's the, uh... Oh, right. Uh, we have a thing down here now for that kind of stuff. Craft workshop. Out of wood. Make me... A couple more of those. I really like it if they fill in that one corner bit. There we go. there. That's going to be a little awkward over here, but eh, I'll just work with it. And it does look like we've got the uh, one thing set up so I can forbid the eggs again. They'll stay in there. Ooh, laminite. Ah, laminite. Not a bad thing. It's just I was hoping it was a new source of limite rather than just the uh, current mainstay. There we go. Let's dig a. Gotta reset that or else I forget to. Which is annoying. <laughs> Just a bit, anyway. Okay. Things are coming along. Guilty floor. Oh, winter. Winter is upon us. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to definitely need more room. But that was par for course. I, I saw that coming. Though it looks like I won't be able to do anything over here. I'll have to build a new workspace. <sighs> One, two, three. Um, let's actually have it somewhat centralized. Is it possible? Yeah, because it's two areas, so that'll be 21, so divide by 3 is 7, so... Oh, right. Derp. 1, 2, 3, 4. So yeah, that is center-ish. Close enough. Actually, let's see. Let's see floor. Boo, 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 boo. The biggest thing why I floored over is because I don't like having the random colors under my workshops and stuff. It looks really nasty to me. Um, and let's see. Yeah, working on the nest boxes. Build N. Obviously, I will eventually have more nest boxes, but for the moment, this is good enough. Pretty sure we set this guy up. Yeah, he's just not in his room. That's just 
kind of how he wants to live his life, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, well, can't really do anything about that. What is it? Oh, because there's a thing there. It's actually okay. It's just got a derp to do. I'm gonna let them stay there instead of try to remove it because it is very much what I'm intending that area to be, so be a little stupid of me to remove it at this point. Just a tad. Uh, I would... Okay, um, is there any moss in this area? Not yet. I would like it if this area got mossy sooner rather than later, but it's one of those, well, life goes on. Hopefully it works, but if it doesn't, yeah, I'm sure it won't starve before it does. That'd be silly. It could happen, but it'd be silly. And that means a laugh, right? So, ha uh, ha. Uh, dig. One, two, three, four. There we go. Yep, good enough. I'll get the work done. Now I just gotta wait for the uh, turtle's eggs to finish up. Oh, hey! Stray boulder crab. That would be over in here. And what is that? That's a... D -d 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 -d. A male. So that can just be in there. But that's good. Wait a second. Female boulder crab. It was a boulder crab that grew up, right? I'm not being crazy. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's just currently in the cage. I was confused there, I must admit. I thought I'd jump to the top of the list because you can't do that or stuff. DB. Oh, dump might as well. Because uh -huh. it doesn't seem to want to do that. It doesn't want to do that? Well, can't make it do that. Well, I could. It would just be annoying. Build C4. Taking a slightly different path with the uh, stuff this time around. Hopefully it'll work out, giving it a little more space to work with. Don't know where the digging, but where I, oop, nope, don't want that. There we go. One, two, three, four. You know, this is really something I should have automated, but I haven't gotten around to it for some reason or other. It's a thing, it happens. digging this area. Sometimes I forget this is up here. I shouldn't because it's relatively important to the future of my fort, but you know. Life happens. Spheralite. That's a decent thing. Tetrahedrite. Good stuff. We're starting to fill up the food area. 
biggest reason why I need to work on this down here, but you know. I'm thinking I might actually need a full-time farmer almost at this point. I was thinking maybe these eggs aren't fertilized. Not that I can check without the uh, one plug-in for DFAC, which I do not have. <sighs> Making it ever so difficult. So, so, life goes on. You know. At least things are working. Ah, right. I can build the workshop now. Paralog, sure. And, of course, he forever has the spin thread job. Build a workshop. Bloom. Or no. Um, dyer shop? No. Dyer shop? Yes. Dyer shop D. Build seafloor. For that, we'll want stuff. No, oh, yeah, it can just be logs in general, can't it? Oop, nope. Let me take care of this. There we go. This is a farmer's workshop connected to pigtails, so they'll process into thread. I might not have enough logs. Oh wait, nope. Lots of maple logs. That's fine then. Things will come along. I don't need that there. At least not at the moment. These are gonna be annoying to take down, I must admit, but eh. Vaguely necessary for what I need. Oh, we've actually finished up the bone bolt process. Thread, yarn, stuff. Yeah, lots of yarn. A good thing we're going to need it. Hmm. That could be a problem. Um. I'll just assume it won't be. It's not the correct way of dealing with it, but it's the current way I'm dealing with it. Huh. <sighs> They won't come back and bite me, but, well, probably will. Just how life works. I'm going to uh, redo this a little bit. There we go. Obviously, once the area directly around it that I want taken care of is fixed up, we'll let that slide. For now, this is how I want it. Though, that will really uh, take up a lot of time. I'm already using a lot of dwarf power at the moment. Uh, how many dwarves is that? 17. The next migration wave will be capped at 5. Unless we have a kid born. And then 4. Unless I change it. And that's just how it ends up working when you put a cap on it. I definitely prefer it this way over the uh, more chaotic way. Where everyone just comes. Insert joke here. PCT, disable. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Wait, no. We don't want a loom there. Build, workshop, <sighs> dyer shop. There we go. We have one real nice. We have one like that. There we go.
and you can take from there. Give it the millstone. I can't take from millstone, but I don't need to. Give it the millstone. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's fine. I need someone dying. Do we not have... No, no. We have someone with that. He's just spinning thread at the moment. Of course he is. <sighs> hmm. Excuse me. Actually thinking about it, I'm going to set up a zone right now for gathering. It'll be useful. Yeah, that's going along fine. We're a little undefended at the moment, I must admit. But Okay no, there's no buts to it. We're we're undefended at the moment. Though I want to know why the person that's supposed to be chopping down wood isn't. Um, you're not the woodcutter. Uh, presumably one of these guys. Maybe you. Yeah, this guy is supposed to be the woodcutter. He's currently filling a pond. Kind of a theme with these guys, I think. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You know what? I'm going to remove the ones that are over here. There we go. We'll do things in our own way. In our own time, too. Hmm. Still want this a zoom location, which make that a little bit harder. Anyway, let me dig this out. Um, yeah, I think I'll make a macro of the downstairs part, but for right now, I'm just going to dig this out. Okay, I did the macro, but because I can't determine which way it'll come from, I think I'll just redo it later, as need be. For right now, I'll just leave it alone. If I come up with some other thing to record, it'll... Oh, a chinchilla! I wonder if they're thieving types. They might be, which could be bad. Um, yeah, everyone do that. Uh, we can definitely remove this one. He's taking care of the area he needs to. Yeah, should all be dumped there. Not the best dump area, but it's set up at the moment, so that's fine. Um, dye cloth. Do it now. One unused diable cloth. Oh, right. DB. DB. Die cloth. Do it now. Repeat. Yeah. It should be a job that is viable. Just saying. There we go. Um, this place has almost done what it needs to do. In fact, it's almost gone enough that we could actually cancel a few of those positions, but... Man, I'm really waiting on those eggs to hatch. They should be viable still, I think. And I want that done. Ah. We're actually out of dye. Hmm. Interesting. I guess that's fair enough. Well, how long it takes the eggs to hatch? 
And it's done its job. We don't need that one, though it hasn't really completed what I want done. Uh, those are currently watered areas. They'll fix themselves over time. Okay, yeah, we did cancel that out. Good. That does reduce the number of people actually doing that, so maybe they can do other jobs as wanted. And required, because I definitely require it. Is this really still? Yeah, that's really still just a spot, even though it's like literally next to it. We've just gotten so unlucky with that. Because it should have done its job. Is this... No, that's a thing. Um, it must have... Uh... This is a set to take. Yeah, okay. Uh, we've got a bunch of people actually free to do stuff now. Hmm. I wonder why they're doing it. Okay. There we go. Yeah, hmm. There we go. You might notice this one is up here. I uh, designated that before I realized, wait, depending on which way it goes, depends on how I do it. So, uh, oopsie. But, you know, it doesn't, it won't affect it that much. So we'll just leave it alone. No need to uh, waste time on something that probably won't end up mattering as much as it might otherwise. repeat. We won't actually tell them to do it now. Oh, damp stone located. Hmm. That's somewhat inconvenient. Is this one of those, uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, Okay, yeah, that, that's a thing. Mm -hmm. How do I want to deal with this? I'm not quite sure. Though we have successfully broken into it without any casualties or anything. Or annoyances. Mostly the annoyances that matter. Um, looks like I'm just going to floor over this area. Build sea floor. And we'll go with the diorite. Oh, the other two things there. Um, actually, I just noticed. Stop that and that. Because that would be awkward. Well, good thing I have it set up to work the way it does. Oh, well. It looks like we do have an actual easy way through. The well, hmm. You know what? Do it now. I want to, uh, build the wall. I want to just, uh, get that out of the way. Do it like that. Uh, do we see anything interesting down here? Doesn't look like it. Though it does look like we soon won't have one of those around. Okay, those are being tasked up. Someone will do them eventually. Slight bit of a shame about that, but life goes on. Right. Um, will it actually fit? Ish. Sort of. The answer is not really how I'd want to, but I can't help that. Now can I? Good news is this is coming along. Ooh, 
Looks like, um... Well, that wasn't how I wanted it to go. That's interesting. That is very interesting. I'll definitely have to actually... Or no. Record. There we go. And remove that. There we go. That'll quickly uh, work and do what I need done there. I can actually probably put the loom right next to that stuff. Still waiting on the turtles, though. <sighs> Vaguely annoying. go. That'll fix up that area anyway. Um, oop, wrong way. I was trying to see, uh, hmm. This, this is about the best place to actually make it go through. I can't really help that. So just do that and uh, fill in the one thing. Make it do what I want it to do. There we go. Things are working out relatively well with this stuff. Took a while to get down here. Um, and we're actually out of dyeable cloth now, so I'll have to go and set up some. Build the wall. Set up some other stuff. There we go. And we'll let him actually dig it out. Good thing we actually caught this before we did anything too annoying. It's like it is sort of open, but. Eh. We can stop that. It was not an option. Anyway. Okay. Take care of all that. There's the guy building that. We'll set up to build the other wall I want. Instruct tetrahyte. Good stuff. Um, it looks like Spectre. Corporal spectral hag with gray skin, a wizened body, and red rage filled eyes, mournful spirit, skinny, slightly flattened ears are few slobed, nose bridges concave, her high cheekbone, and she has she has high cheekbones and she has a brown and brown chin, her nose is short, her hair is jade, her skin is gray, her eyes are red military equipment. Most of them have at least crossbows. I don't know if they have ammo, but technically they're set up to have ammo. Actually, uh, I do need to increase this. There we go. Squad A. Oh, brilliant. Is that another specter or... That's a number of specters. Okay. U Z. There's two of them. This is 14 here. 
And these guys are at eight. Military or squad a kill R. Squad a kill. Squad a move. Oh, hello. Um, I'm not sure how this the fight is going. We're still at 17 dwarves, so I guess that's a good idea. Still at 17 dwarves. Sixteen dwarfs, someone died. Someone became a home dwarf. Well, I guess they're fighting. Good thing they aren't things that can't um I'm presuming this killed a guy. Yeah, Fath. Who was he? It's a very important question. He's not the Dyer. He's not one of the metalsmiths. He's... Was he a miner? Military or squad A. -O. Move. Bone Carver. Really? Squad move a move. Hmm. Is that just a regular specter? Yeah, it's just a regular specter. Weak. Dead. One specter. Oh, those are great. But, yeah. He was the bone cover. That's sort of annoying. And, uh, got a guy down there move, working. Let's see if we can get this specter killed up here. He's a little hurt. That's fine. Apparently more caring about the one thing. Spectre is actually pretty hurt down here. How are we doing against the Spectre? Ugh, not very well. Squad move. A move. So once they kill that thing, they should head down there. Still only lost one dude. So uh, down here... Well, he's not the worst I've seen. If they can beat the Spectre up there quickly enough... Um... Yeah, hmm. Oop. Military, someone died. Ah! The one down there. Darn it! Uh, which military? I don't know. Not the commander. So I guess that's good. Oh, nope, wrong one. We are now down to just squad move. Squad A move. I actually have to uh, tell them to move. Mm. What are you doing? Why couldn't you just stay in one place? That would be very convenient for me. I don't have a doctor either. Or squad a move. 
Not that that will do much, uh, especially since I don't think the squad can currently move. <sighs> what are they doing? Squad A move. Yeah, I think they're just really hurt. Their feet... Apparently it likes to kill their feet. Or something. It's kind of a thing. Um... Fill a bed. We don't have beds. Um... Military. How many? One, two... Four. Do that right away. I'm basically gonna just have to let this guy just sort of uh, move around. You know, I actually kind of want him to go away now because he's named expressly because he killed someone here. And while it would be cool and really nice to take revenge for my dwarf. There we go. It, like I was saying, it'd be nice to take revenge for my dwarf. On the other hand, now he's out in the world. Which almost is better, honestly. It means that stuff happens. Stuff happens. Um, It means we've got... Okay, I thought so. Do that now. Uh, miner's not mining. It's not a problem, it's just a thing. I just have to uh, set up another thing. There we go. So that was two dwarves dead. We actually managed to kill two of them though, so that's nice. And to be fair, the ones that I actually managed to get into a good fight with, everyone, everything worked out there. It's the uh, other people that sort of had a bit of problem. Um, I guess the question now is where do I want to put the dead? I could put the dead in here. Make a really nice, big, fancy room for them. Though I, I do kind of prefer having the dead be... Um, we could bury the dead in here? No. Huh. It's actually kind of annoying that those are off. Take those out. Want to have actual stone that matches. I'll probably put it up here. Unsuspend that. Build bed. Don't we have a carpenter? He's hurt. Um, someone that can currently do something. You. You're kind of hurt as well. Um, dire. Stop repeating that. I need to go make beds. And in fact, we apparently need more beds than I thought we did. 
Um, Chief Medical Dwarf. No one has relevant skills, though. <sighs> Weaver. The Weaver apparently is giving food. You are now the Medical Dwarf. I needed that so I could check who needs it. Two, three, four, five, six. Apparently six. Six is the answer. That's a lot of people. Huh. That's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, let's let him construct the beds. Okay, he should be almost done with the last bed. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Build bed. We'll build the beds there. Once they're built, I can make it a hospital area and then people can go and get healed because I kind of want them to be healed I think we have a lot of work to do so we'll let that happen okay, and the beds are almost done hospital Presumably some people will... Oh, this guy's recovering a wounded. No one else? Uh, yes. We've got a few people recovering wounded. Presumably yeah, it's the guy right behind him. It was sort of a giveaway. And here's the final guy. Oh, one of the uh, one of the military. That's cool. Been recovering. Uh, looks like the carpenter. Speaking of carpenter, you no longer have carpentry. I'm just gonna point that out. Uh, what kind of random stuff? Specter bits. I wonder if you can butcher specters. We've got Spectre Teeth. I'm not actually seeing Spectre Remains. They might not have them. Or, more likely, they're just still over there. Which is one of those, well, fair enough. Uh, it looks like I slightly overestimated the people, but that's fine. And we do have someone cleaning a patient. We do not have, at this point soap, so this could be bad for them, which would be sort of annoying, but life goes on. Also, at some point, I'll probably want an actual well. <sighs> of course, the flip side of that is I kind of also want an actual, uh, you know, medical thing. Uh, what was it that you did beforehand? You butchered and stuff. Um, what was your job title, though? I don't know. Lots of medical stuff. <sighs> oh, I can't do anything else about that at the moment. Um, dang curdles still haven't hatched their eggs. Starting to think maybe they won't. Because I did notice the one turtle not on its egg. Which would be annoying. But I think the other one has stayed pretty consistent in being in the spot, so... We'll leave it alone and see how it works out. using up a lot of uh, manpower uh, suturing stuff 
Set bone. I think this is... No? Okay, yeah. Dress wound. Using fancy cloth. Dress wound. Yeah, uh, he's... He's, uh, becoming a good doctor. <laughs> Hopefully. Let's see, where's his doctory skills? Yeah, he's, uh, he's actually kind of becoming the doctor. I guess when you have a lot of wounded, that kind of happens. Gotta diagnose them all. I mean, I definitely need a closer place to get the stuff. Oh, can't help. Hopefully they all heal up relatively quickly. Because five dwarfs is a third of my dwarves. Kind of a thing. Mind you, they were military, so no, they weren't doing anything so much. But uh, still, I do want them back. Sort of important. Especially if more specters attack, because, you know, that that's quite possible. Or a lot of other things that are a lot worse. For instance, dragons. I don't think I'm at the point where I'd be attracting dragons, but... I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it's a thing. Could happen. I doubt it, though. I say that after having silver dragons... Uh, rip off my face in one video. But, you know. That was, I think that was a more advanced board. I'm pretty sure it was beyond video three. Uh, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm mostly just watching the uh, person go around doing medical stuff. Because I find it interesting. I don't actually get to see it all that often. Which is almost odd with how I uh, do this, but you know, life goes on. Um, yeah, that can stay there. It's yeah, just one of those things. I wonder if I'll empty all the ponds. The biggest problem is a lot of them are further away than I prefer to deal with. Anyway. It's just one of those things. Uh, yeah, the uh, medical profession for dwarves I actually find interesting. Oh, the bed red. Is that because of blood? Why, yes it is. Oh, he cleaned him, right. And that was, uh... That was, uh, stuff happening. Suturing. He cleaned off the, uh... Blood. Huh. Mostly I'm assuming that because it also had specter blood. If it was just dwarf blood, it was multiple dwarves, though. Darn it! The carpenter died. What did you die from? I don't know. He's just dead. It's, it's kind of sad. We're now down to, uh, 14 dwarves. But hey, at least we have a crutch. I'll have to check to see what else, who else needs a crutch. Oh, and we're still diagnosing. Let's actually check here. Okay, uh, cleaning required. Dressing required. Suture request, setting request, crush required, uh, broken tissue, needs setting, uh, cannot stand. Here's a diagnose, also surgery, which we can't do at the moment, dressing, suturing, setting, crutch required. Uh, yeah, lots of, uh, lots of problems. I'll definitely have to look at that in more depth in the next video. But for now, I think I'm just going to have to end the video. If I remember to 
set up some form of uh, thing. There we go. Some form of a uh, coffiny area. Just because oh, no, I just need to uh, check what's on the floor. Hmm. Bit of a video. Definitely interesting, though. We fought something off, and uh, the only deaths were to one critter, and that critter sadly got away, but happily got away, because now there's a wraith out there named because of our fort. If we create another fort in this world, Spectre show up, he could show up, and then we could get revenge with another fort once this one dies, or I decide to just let it go. Because that's quite possible something that could happen. It just all depends. Though, admittedly, there was stuff that happened with the entities and stuff. So, yeah. Next time, likely just gonna gen a new world. Eh, it happens. If it wasn't for the fact that stuff happened with the entities and whatnot, I'd be less likely. But since it did, life goes on. Anyway, this is Active Jar, and I'm signing off.